Hello my friends. Um, so this uh, little topic keeps cropping up in my field of awareness. Or rather I keep hearing it. Um, so I thought I'd do a very quick video. Now it's quite a big topic. Uh, so this is going to be short and not massively in depth. But it's kind of designed just to help you think about it a little bit. Just step back, kind of go, hmm, maybe I'm not getting the full picture. Cholesterol. The big cholesterol. It's good, it's bad. What's the dealio? Well, cholesterol is neither good nor bad. Just cholesterol, right? That's all it is. Very straightforward. It is a lipid. A lipid. So it's just, it's a fatty acid. Okay. It's biosynthesized. Ooh, fancy word. Biosynthesized by all uh, animals. So in, in cell structure. So basically, uh, it's a building block, right? It's essential to life. Uh, it's an essential component of cell structure, of cell membranes, right? So it gives the cell uh, stiffness and stability. It's a key building block, that's what it is. So cholesterol is recycled in the body. It doesn't really ever get rid of it. It just keeps moving that stuff around, using it, recycling it, sending it back to where it needs to go. So your body produces cholesterol as a response to stress. So when there's an inflammatory process of some sort, uh, you know, uh, there's a need for elevated cholesterol. So um, as your body's experiencing stress, whether that's, who knows what that's from, right? Could be alcohol, could be medical drugs, uh, could be an injury, uh, could be an operation, right? Inflammation has been caused and therefore you need an adequate upregulation of cholesterol it fixes you up cool okay so it's, turn, it's looking like it's quite important stuff so cholesterol is a precursor to uh, steroid hormones 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 <laughs> steroid hormones we like go north country south country where is that where's that accent from who knows um and vitamin d it's kind of important, especially at the moment. Like everyone's saying how important vitamin D is. Luckily, the old current bun has come out and uh, it's going to supply us with a ton of that stuff. But guess what? You need cholesterol to really benefit from the vitamin D. How about that? A higher food intake of cholesterol sees a lower production rate in the body. Hmm, that's interesting. And a lower consumption rate, from a dietary perspective, sees an increase and what the body needs to produce. Hmm, interesting stuff. There are links uh, to depression, suicidal tendencies. Rookie, rookie mistake, should have turned the phone off. Um, aggressive, violent behaviour to low cholesterol levels. Oh, interesting. So, where do we get it from? Well, we get it from animal products, okay? Because remember, it's a Cholesterol is a precursor to all animal cells. So when you consume anything that's animal, you're going to be getting cholesterol, various amounts, etc. So obviously meat products, fish, fish oils, eggs, uh, yeah, anything animal, butter, organ meats, liver, kidney, etc. Um, and interestingly, it's actually in significant amount, significant quantities in breast milk. So, you know, your newborn life form that needs really looking after gets a big whack of cholesterol from breast milk. Hmm, is it really as bad as everyone says it is? I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's a little bit more complex than we're told. Have a think about it. I like cholesterol. Uh, it's good for you. Have a look at your sources. Think about your sources of cholesterol. What do you, where do you get your cholesterol from? What is the quality of the animal that you eat, right? You know, do you get your chicken from a fast food restaurant or do you get it from your butcher where you can ask the butcher, how is this animal raised? Oh, this thing was just pecking around. You know, yeah, it gets feed, but generally it's out there eating bugs and worms and stuff. Hmm, okay. Do you think that the 
fat that comes from an animal that's exploring nature. Oh, just turn it off. Just turn it off. Where is that damn thing? Turn it off. Do you think an animal that's exploring nature and being as it should, so more than free range, right? Actually organic and it's foraging and it's living out there in the wild. Do you think its fat is going to be better than an animal that's kind of, you know, pumped full of maybe antibiotics, doesn't see natural light, uh, is in a very stressful situation, mm, stress, cholesterol, mm. what do you think? So have a think about your food sources, like do you make good choices with your animal products or are you a bit lazy, you know, do you like, don't really think about it, hmm, I wonder, because not not all animals are created equal, right? And they're not all raised in the same environment. And if you've ever done experiments with different kind of eggs, from cage kind of factory raised eggs all the way through to organic, or you've got your own chickens and you've had one of those eggs, you ever looked at the difference? The significant difference. So there's a snippet in the world of cholesterol. Um, yeah, have a think about it. Um, Quite frankly, get out there, get some nice clean eggs, and consume them on a daily basis. <gasps> what? Not a doctor. Not a doctor. Don't believe a word I tell you. But maybe just do a little bit of research and a little bit of fact finding and try and figure out. Cholesterol. Do I need it? What's it all about? Until next time, be good. <laughs>